Hi, this is Jacob Nicholson with InMotion Hosting, and today I'm going to teach you how to create a cPanel account within WHM or Web Host Manager and just why you might want to do this in the first place. In order to access WHM, simply go to your website address followed by forward slash WHM in your web browser. Then just type in your cPanel username and password to access WHM. Now here you can see I've logged into a VPS or virtual private server. WHM is also available on dedicated servers as well as to reseller hosting customers. Now you can see my cPanel username here as example and also the domain name I've accessed this site over is example.com. Now let's say for instance that we also own example.net we want to add it onto our server, but we don't want the same group of people managing the site. Now, if we simply gave out our example credentials to a new web developer or someone we're you know, working with for the first time, they would have access into WHM for this account, as well as cPanel, which gives them access to the email accounts, all of your files, pretty much everything important for your website. So it's important that you have the ability to segregate your accounts if you'd like to. And WHM makes it very simple. We can simply type create here in the search filter and under account functions we come up with create a new account. So go ahead and click on that. And then this is going to bring up the create a new account page which it really should say create a new cPanel account because that is what we're creating here. So we're going to go ahead and type in example.net as the domain. Uh, we'll actually change the username to example2 so it doesn't conflict with our already existing example user. And then we're just going to give it a very strong password and then set the email address uh, of the user basically that, that's going to get any cPanel alerts or, or managing this account. For the package, we can simply choose VPS, which is a you know already set up package to give unlimited resources to the cPanel account or you can select options manually like I just did and set the disk space quota to you know 500 megabytes for instance and only allow them five email accounts but in this case we're gonna uncheck that and just leave it with the VPS package cPanel theme you can select the older themes if you want or if you have any custom cPanel themes this is where they'll display um, we're just gonna leave that the default x3 and then finally the locale here um, for instance, you know, if you know you're handing off cPanel credentials to a, a person whose primary language is Spanish, go ahead and set their locale to Spanish when they first log into cPanel. All of the icons and everything will already be in their language, so they don't need to hunt for the language settings, you know, to change things around. But we'll go ahead again and uh, leave that on English. Now for DNS settings, I'd recommend if you are going to be sending out email from this particular domain on this server, go ahead and enable both DKIM and SPF records. These are basically spam preventative measures that get published in your DNS records and help incoming mail servers um, that are accepting mail for your domain, you know, basically be able to determine which server should be sending mail for your domain. So they know if somebody's out there trying to spoof your domain and, and sending spam. Uh, this last option, use the name server specified at the domains registrar. You can typically just go ahead and ignore that because nine times out of ten, that's not something you're ever going to have to worry about. Now for mail routing settings, this is where the incoming mail for your domain is to be handled. So for instance, we're setting up example.net. If we want this server to also handle mail for example.net, which nine times out of ten is the case, just leave that on local mail exchanger. Backup mail exchanger would be used in an instance where you have another primary mail server, but you would like this server to act as a backup in case that primary mail server goes down. Messages would be simply queued on this server to your primary ser mail server as backup, and then going ahead and delivered to you. Uh, remote mail exchanger, that's if you just want to bypass this server altogether for your mail and you strictly just want to use a remote mail provider for mail for this domain. 
And then once you've uh, gone through and figured out what you need, go ahead and click Create. And then WHM goes really quickly uh, and creates that new account for you. Now that's all done. So what we can do here is go ahead and go to List Accounts. And now we'll see we have both example.com and example.net as two separate cPanel accounts. And you can see here indicated by their cPanel usernames, they are in fact unique. And another interesting tidbit over here in the reseller owner column, you'll see both of these accounts are owned by this first user of example. Now this example user is a reseller user, so that, that's what allowed me to log into WHM and create a new account under it. And then I can also jump into that account's cPanel. So as the primary, um, you know, the, the first account created as the reseller, I can hop in here and basically manage anything for this example2 user or the example.net domain that we just created. But what's great is if we want to tell somebody, you know, hey, here's example.net slash cPanel. That's your, you know, your domain. Go ahead and have at it. Your username is example2, and there's your very strong password we sent you. And then when they directly come in here and log in for the first time, this is again the example.net domain we set up and that example2 cPanel username. And for instance, if we hop in here to the file manager and just jump to the document root, it's blank. There, there's nothing there. So this is a completely new cPanel account just for them to work in. And they're not going to be messing up anything with your example.com account, anything to do with the example user. And they're not going to be able to log in here to WHM because that access has not been given to them. So that's basically how you create a cPanel account within WHM, and I hope you learned a little bit today. Thanks, and as always, this is Jacob Nicholson with InMotion Hosting.